Lists in Rive are a new way to use data binding to generate items in real time. There's two ways to do this, so let's take a quick look at both ways. So if I go to this first file and I look at um, the data tab, you can see I've created two view models, item view model, which is bound to this item artboard, and <clears throat> the artboard has a text run that's bound to this label property. And then I have a main view model, which is uh, bound to my main artboard, and it has a um, list property. So what's new here is if you click the plus button in the drop down, you're going to see a new item called list. So when you add this list property, you're going to get <clears throat> um, over here on the right, the ability to see your list instances. And there's this button that says add list items. So right now I've already added six items. I can remove them. I can add new ones. And if I click the pop out, I can select the view model, so I'm going to select item BM, which is again bound to this artboard, and I'm going to select the instance, uh, one of the instances that I've already created. So instance five, I'll add another one, instance six. Then I'm going to go over here to my hierarchy, select my layout, and then <clears throat> there's a new button over here to the right called add artboard list. If I select it, then the artboard list gets added as a child of the layout, and in the artboard list inspector you're going to see the list property that I added called buttons. So I'm going to select buttons. And then when I play the state machine, it dynamically generates all of those items. Um, and it, it orients them in a column because the, the parent layout is set up as column. It maintains all of the padding and spacing and everything like that. So, um, and of course, it maintains all of the interactivity that I set up within this item artboard. So that's the first way is to use the list property and add list items. The second way <clears throat> is to just use a number and to dynamically generate um, n items of a certain type of view model. So let's see what that looks like. If I go to this file, I have a similar setup. I have an item view model, which is bound to this artboard. And then I have <clears throat> a main view model, which is bound to my main artboard, which this time has a number property, just a regular number property, and I've set it on in this instance to 100. And so when I <clears throat> go over here, I've already added my artboard list this time, and then from the drop down, you're going to see this time it has my number property called count. So when I select that, you can see that there's a, a yellow outline, meaning that maybe it's not quite right there. So I'm going to right click this, and oh, actually, before I do that, I'm going to go back to the data tab. And one thing you need if you're um, going to use a number to generate a list is you need this new converter called number to list. So if I select this, it's going to create a number to list converter. And on the right here, I can select which view model, again, bound to an artboard, that will uh, this number will convert to list items. So then when I go back over here to the artboard list property, I'm going to right click, choose update bind. And then uh, under converter, I'm going to choose number to list. So now you can see it, it turned green, everything's happy. And then I'm going to choose to play my state machine. And um, huge shout out to Jerry Liu, our creative director, who created this awesome animation. Um, but you can see that the items all, again, dynamically generated. You didn't have to manually create these and add them to your stage. And um, you can you know, change the number. When you go to the data tab here, you can change this number. And it will update the number of items that are generated at runtime. Um, now briefly, <clears throat> one other thing is we have this new uh, property called a list index as well. And that could be important because you may want, to, uh, you may want your item to know which index in the list it is. <clears throat> so just to show you real quickly, um, for example, I create an item, and I'll just play this back. And in this case, I have the item showing what number it is based on this list index, which gets just automatically populated. So you can use that value. Um, and then the other thing I've done is I've created a state machine where it either has a black background or, or a light background, um, depending on the value of the index uh, using a modulo of two. So basically, every second item will have a white a background and then every other item would have a black background. So that's all possible now using this this index property. The other thing real quick is that 
the lists automatically work with scrolling out of the box. So as long as you set up your, your parent layout using the scroll constraint, um, you can check the docs for how scroll constraints work, but um, that will just work out of the box. So that's it. Look forward to seeing what you build.